In this video, we will look at the process we can use to multiply a binomial by a binomial. When we're multiplying a binomial, such as a plus b, times a binomial, such as c plus d, what we will do is we will distribute each term of the first binomial. In other words, we will distribute the a through the parentheses, and then we will come back and distribute the b through the parentheses. This process is often called FOIL, which stands for first, meaning we multiply distributing a through to the first term, O stands for outside, meaning we multiply A times the outside term. Inside, meaning we multiply the inside terms, B distributing to the C. Last, meaning we multiply B times the last term. Let's take a look at some uh, examples where we distribute both terms of the binomial into the other set of parentheses. In this example, we'll start by multiplying the 4x times the 5x, distributing the 4x through. 4 times 5 gives us 20x squared. Continuing to distribute the 4x through, we have 4x times 1, which is a positive 4x. Now, we will distribute the second term, the negative 2, through the parentheses. Negative 2 times 5x is negative 10x. Finally, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Notice after doing all of this multiplying, there are some like terms that can be combined. Quite often, after using this FOIL method, you will find like terms that you should combine to get our final simplified answer. 20x squared, minus 6x, 4 minus 10, minus 2. And this becomes our product when we multiply the binomial times the binomial. Let's take a look at another example where we do this FOIL method, multiplying the first terms, the outside terms, the inside terms, and the last terms. F stands for first. Multiplying the first times the first gives us 6x squared. I is the, or O, is the outside terms. 3x times negative 8. 3 times negative 8 is negative 24x. The I tells us to multiply the inside terms as we start to distribute the negative 7 through. This gives us negative 14x. Finally, L says to multiply the last term of each factor. Negative 7 times negative 8 is a positive 56. Again, in this problem, you see we have some like terms that can be combined. Combining those like terms will give us 6x squared minus 38x, plus 56, and we have our product. When multiplying polynomials together, we simply will distribute each term through the next set of parentheses. This process is often called FOIL, which stands for first, outside, inside, last.